Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shayna. If you are new here, but if you are not, welcome back to my channel. I don't Today, I'm going to be talking about my bad habits that I overcame in my 20s, such as socially drinking, smoking, and partying. If you do like today's video, please give this video a big thumbs up. It's always appreciated. And make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you guys hit that notification bell to stay notified when I upload every Wednesday and Saturday, sometimes on Sundays. So essentially, I would say that like all these habits kind of started around the same time and they kind of like followed each other one after another. Um, I would say like the social drinking didn't start until I was like 20, 21 um, because I was able to get into a bar and like sometimes parties would serve, like college parties I'd go to would serve like jungle juice and liquor and stuff like that and obviously that's very common and that does happen a lot at parties like that so i was at a lot of parties like that um, and i was around liquor i was around people who were smoking cigarettes who were smoking cannabis were smoking things like that and so it was always around me for a long time and i had friends who smoked cannabis i had friends who smoked cigarettes and it wasn't always like appealing to me I think it was more like situational because I was stressed out from, I was working full time at the time and I was also going to college. So for me, it was definitely a stress reliever and it was kind of something that like calm me down in the moment also if i would be drinking i wouldn't get like blackout face drunk i never got drunk like that and even to this day i never like to get drunk like that but i would just be like a little bit tipsy and it would just be like a stress reliever to smoke cigarettes from time to time and it would be like oh like my friend would have half a cigarette already smoked and i would just smoke like one or two puffs and they would take the cigarette back it was never like i smoked a whole pack or never had like a true addiction to it thankfully um i personally don't really feel like i have an addictive personality compared to like my old friends and stuff like that so thankfully it wasn't anything that was like a detrimental habit to me that like shifted my life in such a negative way but obviously you know the next day you wake up and you're thinking like crap like i had some cigarettes i drink too much you know and you feel like hungover you feel crappy you have terrible headaches or you feel super dehydrated from drinking a lot you know and with jungle juice and stuff like that it has a lot of just a mixed liquor but also a lot of sugar and stuff like that so it's nothing healthy obviously and i wasn't going to drink it for that reason it was really to numb the pain it was to deal with my stress between work and school and like managing a social life as well so for me it was fun but when i look back i don't regret it but i also don't like condone it and I can't believe to myself like wow I did that but we all have our journey and I feel like it made me the person that I am now so I don't regret it for that reason because it made me the person that I am now to this 25 year old woman now that I am and it made me into someone who knows like what I want in life when it comes to socially drinking or smoking and stuff like that like what's good for you what's not the type of people you should be hanging around or not and so I feel like those are lessons that we all kind of have to learn in our life so I don't regret it but just something that kind of got to the point where it was like okay like now you're just codependent on smoking cannabis or drinking and having to get wine or every time I was going out to restaurants or to parties I always had to get a drink one or more and I always had to have like two three drinks and then my tolerance became five or six drinks you know and I wasn't really a big shot taker so I would say I never really had issues with taking shots it's not my favorite but with like mixed drinks and stuff like that like when I used to go to restaurants when I became 21 and I was really legally able to drink, I, you know, took advantage of that all the time. Like I, every birthday I would have a drink at a restaurant and there's nothing wrong with having, I feel like things in moderation, but I was, you know, felt like an excessive amount. I was having, you know, drinking and stuff like that. I stopped with the cigarettes completely um, many years ago. I stopped that probably before I was 21. And then like cannabis, like I do have edibles um, when I'm on a plane because I have plane anxiety. So I do use them for that. Not so much recreational use, I guess you could say more because like I genuinely have very bad anxiety on a plane. So I needed to calm myself down and it kind of just helps me sleep through the flight. So I use it for that purpose, but it's not something that I like I have to have every day, every week, every month. I don't smoke for months at a time. I don't eat like edibles for months at a time. So really it's just situational and it depends on my mood, what I'm going through currently in that moment, my stress levels, it has to do with um, those type of things really. But now that, like I would say the last couple of years after COVID and stuff like that, I stopped drinking a lot. The most I'll have is like a bottle of wine for my birthday or for the holidays, I'll drink some champagne 
or some wine i'm not really a big eggnog drinker so i don't really dabble in that but like i will have a mixed drink here and there if i go out to eat with my boyfriend or i go out with family to a restaurant or something especially if it's a special occasion i feel like it's more situational and like i said before in that sense of it's someone's birthday it's an anniversary it's you know it's christmas it's stuff like that like when you have bigger holidays or it's like you know a giant get together or like a barbecue or something and people bring like you know wine coolers and stuff like that like i used to love wine coolers and i still like them but now they give me really bad headaches like worse than even how it was a few years ago so i feel like now i just monitor myself more and i care more about like my gut health and stuff like that being 25 so i feel like i've just kind of drifted away from wine and mixed liquor like that um not as much as i used to drink it but i still like to have it from time to time like socially of course um, and i don't see nothing wrong with that like i feel like for me everything in moderation is okay i don't try to overdo everything like before i feel like i was just overdoing everything just to numb the pain like i said just to deal with it and cope with it now i'm in therapy and at that time i wasn't in therapy i was in and out of therapy um for many years but you know the last like year or two i've been in therapy again and so i feel like that's really helped me to like just stay calm and like kind of like liquor free like it wasn't um my main choice to be like oh i'm just never gonna drink again like no i enjoy it but i don't take it to the head where it's like i'm gonna drink a whole bottle of wine tonight by myself like no that for me is like a red flag like that means like no there's a deeper issue within me that i need to address and i'm very aware of that which is a good thing but at the same time, I think sometimes when you're so stressed out and stuff like that, you don't always self-aware as much as you could be because you're just trying to like deal with it and cope with it as best as you can. And that was just like a coping mechanism for me at that time. So like I said, I don't regret it. It was just something that was a part of my life. And I feel like a lot of people can relate to this because, you know, a lot of people maybe have drunk socially, smoked and stuff like that. And they're just always around it or they were around it. And they always felt like they had to smoke or had to drink because it was right on hand. But all in all, I would just say that if you feel like you have an addiction or you feel like you have an issue with drinking or smoking and it's becoming more of an issue in your life and it's becoming more controlling over your life, then I would say that maybe you should reach out to a therapist or reach out to a friend or, you know, just look up online. There's so many resources now. There's a lot of probably groups that you can join that are outpatient that just help you to vent and get anything off your chest that you need to get through because we all have issues. We all have our own problems and our own stresses in our life, but you should should never try to let you know liquor and smoking and stuff like that take your life over completely um you know without getting the proper help that you might need because some people might need to be medicated and some people might just need therapy or somewhere to vent to get that out you know maybe you need to get new hobbies or a new crowd of friends and sometimes it can be really hard to let go of those friendships because i know for me it was really hard because these are the people that i made friends with for years and we went to parties together and we would hang out at places together and you know they were the person i would always hit up or they would hit me up when we wanted to have a good time together and stuff but as you get older you start to to realize like that's not always what you want and i started to realize like i can have a good time without getting really super drunk or smoking or having to have something in my system i can depend on other things in a more holistic way or just have other hobbies or a better group of people that's more positive around me that don't really depend on substances to feel something because that's where my life was going and i felt like i had no control over it and i had to get my hand on my control of those items and i'm glad that i did but i know it can be really hard for other people who might have like an addictive personality or anything like that or you just feel peer pressure to do that around the crowd if you're around younger friends and stuff like that at that age so just know that there's always someone you can speak to. Don't feel like you're alone and you don't have a support system, even if you don't, because I didn't have the biggest support system at that time, but I still found a way to find that source of someone that I can speak to, like my therapist or just going to an outpatient group, something like that. You know, even just going to the gym really helped me a lot. Um, changing my diet, like I said, caring more about my gut health and stuff really could help you change your mindset on things and feel like you're not as codependent on those items anymore. So to conclude this video, I would just say that you're never alone and that if you might have a substance issue or you feel like you're depending on these substances too much, you may just have to remove yourself from these situations altogether and maybe find new friends. And it may not be an overnight process. It's not something that I was gonna say is super easy, but it does take time. And little by little, you just have to learn to cut those people out of your life that are no longer serving their purpose or serving a positive purpose in your life if you feel like you're losing control of the situation and know that there's always other resources out there. We have the internet and there's no excuse why you shouldn't be looking up resources or being able to find resources because there are so many.
many that are free as well. So if you need help, I will try to leave a link or two down below for areas maybe online or in my town because I live in New Jersey. I don't know where you live, so it could be different states, but wherever you live, I'm sure there are resources online and maybe around you in your local community that you can use for help with substance and stuff like that. I hope this video was relatable and I hope this reach, reaches somebody who maybe have dealt with the same issues that I like have dealt with in the past in my early 20s or may currently be going through we just know you're not alone and you know if you ever want someone to speak to please just personally message me on my youtube or my instagram account i'm always here to be a shoulder for you guys and make sure you guys comment down below if you ever had to deal with anything like this or you've gone through something like this in your past or you're currently going through it um and just need some support um, I really just want to make this a safe space as well on my channel and I always say this that this is a safe space for everybody. I love everyone. I accept everyone. You know, no matter what you what your gender is, no matter what you conform with, I am like open and loving for everybody. So let this be a safe place for you and feel free to, you know, chat amongst yourselves in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you did like today's video. It's always appreciated, you guys. And make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already because why not? And make sure you guys hit that notification bell to stay notified when I upload every Wednesday and Saturdays, sometimes on Sundays. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.